In management matters, a new cyber advisor at OPM. This June, the Office of Personnel Management announced one of the most devastating data breaches in U.S. history. Hackers traced to China stole sensitive information on 21.5 million people. The incident sparked outrage in Congress, forced Director Catherine Archuleta to resign, and continues to reshape cyber policy government-wide. For more, I'm joined by Mohana Rabindranath. She covers civilian agency technology and IT policy for NextGov. Mohana, OPM just hired a new cyber advisor, Clifton Triplett. Who is he and where did he come from? So Clifton Triplett is a recent recruit from the private sector. He used to be uh, a managing partner at Steel Point Partners. Uh, so he is a guy with extensive private sector experience. Um, and uh, he, you know, he's worked for uh, Baker Hughes and Motorola. So he's a guy who's very well respected in uh, the private sector. Okay, well then let's talk about his new gig. You write, Triplett will be responsible for advocating for IT investments and new services, helping with response to recent cyber incidents, and planning the prevention and mitigation of future incidents, among other tasks. Well, that's a pretty substantial list. What's the goal here? So this is all part of OPM's uh, cyber response. Uh, over the summer, before she resigned, Catherine Archuleta had released this 15-point plan. And one of the steps in this plan for cyber improvement was to hire uh, a cyber advisor. And Triplett's the one. The Triplett will report to Acting Director Beth Cobert, but the Office of Personnel Management already has a Chief Information Officer. Donna Seymour survived despite some calls for her resignation. Now that's an interesting staffing scenario. How will Triplett and Seymour work together? So it's early to say how closely they will work together. They will work directly together. Uh, Donna Seymour has had a very uh, controversial uh, tenure. Uh, she has not been without criticism, uh, but we know that they will work together, the two of them, and it's sort of significant that uh, Triplett will be reporting directly to uh, the acting director, Cobert. And Triplett's appointment is one of 15 actions originally proposed by Catherine Archuleta. How close is the agency to reaching all of those goals? It's a mixed bag right now. It's still early to tell. Uh, some of the steps are a little broader, uh, like the uh, just general IT modernization step uh, is one. It's harder to gauge their progress. Uh, the IG has found uh, that has uh, criticized their progress that has accused them of not really budgeting correctly. So that step is a little bit harder to gauge. But on other steps like hiring the cyber advisor, like uh, implementing two-factor authentication for all users, uh, OPM seems to have made progress. So it's early to tell. Do you think they're going to be pulled back by politics? It's going to be a presidential election year, a lot of changes going on in Capitol Hill. Will that have any impact on what we're talking about? Well, it's it's hard to say. Again, uh, it, there, it's it's possible that um, that bringing in people, more people from the private sector, could sort of balance all the outrage that's been happening on Capitol Hill in response to the OPM hack. Now, last month, Democratic Congressman Ted Lieu suggested it's time to move personnel records out of OPM. He says that agency can't be trusted. What's the latest, and will Triplett's appointment change the dynamic here? Uh, it, it's it's hard to tell again. Uh, at this point, uh, le legislators are working on legislation to that effect, uh, but we're not aware of any progress beyond that initial suggestion. It sounds to me, Mohana, like this all hit them like a ton of bricks, that they're really not sure what they're doing. They're trying hard, but they just can't quite get to the, to the final line at this point. Uh, well, we, we kind of see this appointment as a step in the right direction. Uh, it, it definitely signifies that OPM is trying uh, whatever it can to, uh, to, to make amends for what's already happened and to mitigate any future incidents. So uh, working with the private sector seems to be one way that they're trying to do that. All right, we'll stay on top of this. Mohana Ravindranath, reporter for NextGov. Thanks, Mohana. Thank you.